Okay. Well, I'd say, honestly, at the very least, nobody can say we didn't give it a fair shake. That was like almost three hours. We went through the we went through the ringer on that. We we went through the highs. We went through the lows. Got some kills. Got a, racked up a lot of deaths for sure. Where will we finish? Outside of the top ten. Ten to five. Five, four, three, two, one. It was fun and we'll never see it again. One of those statements is true. For sure. You're right, I do have five twice. Let's make this one 10 to six then. It was fun for us. You wouldn't know it looking at the comments that, that were repeated endlessly throughout the stream. Uh, it looks like Fortnite and ass had a baby. Uh, uh, he'll pivot in four minutes, guaranteed. Two hours later, why is he still playing this? Same guy. Most underrated restaurant in Vancouver? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, can I, if, as long as I'm farming minus twos today, the most underrated restaurant in Vancouver is probably like Joey or Cactus Club. Because in every Vancouver thread, they're like, what's the worst restaurant in the city? Rather than talk about like restaurants that are guaranteed to give you food poisoning or are very expensive, but the food is bad. They're always like, you pay slightly too much for a burger there. People are very offended by the chain aspect of the chain restaurant. So I think that means that they're underrated. Because like sometimes in a pinch... You're like, you know what? I will hit up Cactus Club. But if you're asking me, like, what's a 7 out of 10 restaurant that's actually a 10? I don't have an answer for you. Now, if you're visiting Vancouver, by the way, P-Cubed, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. If you're visiting Vancouver, should you tell your friends, hey, let's go to this little hole-in-the-wall Cactus Club uh, restaurant? My favorite streamer said it's good. I didn't say that. I said it's underrated because people think it's ass. But actually, it's not ass. It's better than ass. Okay, hold on. My favorite Rumbleverse streamer loves this place. I already booked my damn flight. This is okay. No, no, don't drink it yet. Don't drink it yet. Look, also, if you don't want to eat at Cactus Club because you think it's ass, even better for me, that'll mean it doesn't take 55 minutes to arrive via Uber Eats, okay? So, honestly, just, just, keep, uh, just keep spreading the good word that the restaurant is terrible so that I can uh, hopefully have faster delivery times. Two of these? One of these? Four of these? I'm leaving. I've taken the wrong door. What the hell? Stream sniper? Get owned. Another stream sniper down. No sweat. Have you ever eaten cactus though? Uh, yes. Tacos Nopales? Of course I've eaten cactus. What a ridiculous question. Who in chat hasn't eaten cactus? All right, everybody. As soon as people say they haven't eaten cactus, you type uh, points and laughs, please. Me, points and laughs, I am pointing and I am laughing. I've only had it once, actually. I enjoyed it, though. It kind of tastes... I mean, I've only had it once. I can't say if this is what it's always like, but kind of tasted like a, like a not-so-sour, not-so-salty pickle to me. Yeah, I think they took the spikes off, which is uh, it's nice for me. What happened to my good gun? Oh, it's out here. Kind of like a milder asparagus. I could totally see that. 
I, I would plus two that take. I don't think we need big shields. I think we want more of the, the double slurpers. Okay, non-bot killed. One less non-bot to worry about. Does it make your piss smell bad? Honestly, here's a follow-up question uh, or follow-up statement. If you don't eat asparagus because it makes your pee smell, you got a problem. Because, like, why are you... Why are you smelling your piss to begin with, I guess is what I'm saying. Okay, you got confused. I got confused, but I made it out. I love to see that. You're so lucky. You're so money, you don't even know how money you are. You're so dead, you don't even know how dead you are. That's two real boys in quick succession. You love to see that? Dude, I'm not as bad as Om as I used to be. We're doing some decent stuff now. Let me get the red. Holy cow. You see the way we pivoted instead of reloading? Hey, he might be a little bit better. I've also left my gun. No, that's fine. But there's only two gamers left. That's him. By the way, did you see how many bullets came at me all of a sudden from that one guy? Malf Malfoy, Malfoy, reload your guns, Malfoy. He is Malfoying. Okay, stay away from the windows. Hit markers. No hit markers. I want the shurikens. There's no way we're we're quadruple slurping in here. Yeah, 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 I see you. I see you, you piece of crap. This is bad. As much as quite a circle. Never mind. Oh, I'm Acid Games? Oh, I'm Acid Games, really. Oh, I'm Acid Games? Did you see how we played that? And I'm Acid Games. Apparently, I'm Acid Games. Did you see that? 43% of people bet on belief and I won. And yet, I'm Acid Games, apparently. Okay, confirm not ass. Hold on. Oh, exit this round. Leaderboards. One for one in the last 24 hours. How are we doing in the last seven days? Two for seven. Okay, that's not really that good honestly i thought we were didn't we end on a on a back-to-back -back win like a two days ago or something how was that even i wish you just look at the last what 24 hours okay got me thinking about the damn cactus club by the way i saw you say you're headed there for work just wanted to know some places to go don't if you're headed there for work if you're downtown Cactus Club, great place to go with, with colleagues or, or maybe acquaintances that you just met. You can have a non-confrontational, like, happy hour there. If you're looking for food and drinks that are going to blow your socks off, you got to dig a little deeper than that. It depends on the neighborhood you're in, for sure. You're in town for work. Presumably, that's a bot. That would place you downtown. Octopus in the neighborhood. So true. Magic school bus posting. Did you know that Little Richard uh, sang that song? It's kind of crazy. Hero, thank you for the clarification. I don't want to ask for like personal info. But it de depends on the hotel you're staying at. Huge. Also huge. Cactus is decent for sure, but most underrated. I'm, I'm, that's my snap pick. 
with little foresight for most underrated just because it's so hated. I feel like for something to be underrated, it's easier to get a gulf between hated and mediocre than it is to get like to loved. How's public transit? Uh, best in class in North America. Not Europe, Asia, you stay out of this one, okay? It's best in, what is this cope? It's best in class North America. Well, I don't know. I've never ridden the subway in New York. Maybe, maybe New York's got a case, but. Vancouver over Montreal. Um, our roads work. LA, LA's public transit is horrendous. Didn't you play L.A. Noir? <laughs> they talk all about it. NYC better than Vancouver for that. Okay, you know what? I'll give NYC some credit. I have nothing against New York City. I would probably put it in... Top 100 um, cities in the United States of America, without a doubt. It would make the list. Is that a gold rocket launcher? But, like, sometimes Van people who have only lived in Vancouver complain about Vancouver public transit, and I'm like, you don't know how lucky you've got it. First off, the city is too small for a subway, but we have a subway. You should be thanking God that uh, Expo 86 took place so that we got that. That's huge. And also that the Olympics took place and they uh, extended the infrastructure. And then the bus system is really good. The thing that sucks about the buses is th that they're on the roads so they get stuck in traffic. That's the, only, that's the only big knock. And then sometimes also you get like harassed <laughs> on them, but <laughs> that's about it. Also, most of it is above ground, so you can use your phone. It's true! I'm d I don't even want to fight you, I just want to scare you. Okay, 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 fair, fair, fair. You know what? Don't mess with me until I've had my gamer juice. You don't want any part of this! Okay, that, w that fight was not for you. I should have used the flamethrower. What a throw. Holy cow, his grenade skills are insane. Whatever, you're dead. Somehow that worked. Don't. You don't want to do this. Malfoy's? Big shots. I'm leaving. There's gonna be a lot of stuff showing up in the kill feed. That's when we pop up with- Whoa! That's when we pop up with the flamethrower and clean up the trash. There's one. Only two gamers remain. Malfoy, reload your guns. What a shot. <laughs> what a shot, man. What a shot. Insane shot. Okay, let me see if my wife is ready to stream. I'm going to type in hello... Are you ready to stream? Smiley face. <clears throat> what are we gonna play tomorrow? We gotta, we gotta make some progress in Cult of the Lamb. We're so close to finishing it, to crossing it off the list. Probably some Super Auto Pets will be my guess. 
We were supposed to do um, chess with Botez, but we have, a, we have a conflict of availability. Their schedule and my schedule had one hour of overlap, and I got like a hard stop. And then I was like, okay, let's do that one hour of overlap. And then they were like, could we bump it 30 minutes? And I'm like, I got to be that guy. I, I hate to be the stick in the mud, but I got to be that guy that is like, I cannot bump it 30 minutes. It would make me a, a, a derelict father. Other streamers are really busy, man. They got like, I'm not busy. I just have tight availability. <laughs> Other streamers are like, I was in LA. I was in Rome. I got this thing. I'm playing a poker tournament with a $500,000 prize pool that starts here. And I got a, I'm doing a sponsor video. And I'm doing a... Back in my day... You used to not be able to do morning streams with other people because they got up at like 11. The new generation of streamers are, they're, they're rise and grind, man. I, it's, it's admirable. It's not men as a knock in the slightest. They're actually just genuinely very busy. Back in my day, you could record five Isaac videos in a day, take a two-hour long lunch, and then be like, I'm the hardest working person on the platform. Things have changed a lot. Anyway, Kate is live. I'm going to send you over to her stream. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's still Friday. See ya.